very different this year. Everybody's characters have taken a, a, sh a, a there's a real shift. Sugi has been away. Things have changed in Bonton. There's a lot of hierarchical shifts. Uh, obviously the werewolves are back, which has caused a lot of trouble. After what happened in Jackson last year, Al Seed decided to move, and all I can say is that he lives very close to where Suki lives. The next season is very different for Eric. He loses his memory early on. He's kind of um, defenseless, helpless. He doesn't really, he, he's still very physically powerful, but he, uh, he literally doesn't know who he is. She knows that there are forces out there that are dangerous and they're coming after him. The old Eric would, would be able to handle it, but, but not the new Eric. He needs her help. It could. I think she realizes that there's more to Eric than she thought, that there is a sweetness there. And it's always been there, but now that you know he drops the guard, and that's a, a side you haven't really seen before. You know, people ask me all the time, you know, are, are the people cool on your show? Are they cool? And they were just completely welcoming to me last year. The fact that I'm back means that I'm a part of the family. Well, the growling last year wasn't in the script. We would find ourselves in scenes going head to head, grown men growling at each other. We both looked at each other after the take and thought, wow, this is going to look really cool. <laughs> we're going to look like the biggest idiots on the planet. Often they'll want to kind of make the noise that of the teeth coming out and stuff like that. So you find so many different times you're going, rah, rah, rah. and uh, you do a lot of that. And I'm so used to it now that I don't even kind of catch myself in a reflection of doing that stuff. It's just part of, it's part of our show. I'm a dog owner and, and I, watch, I watch my dogs and I watch what they do and I watch how they get when you try to take something away from them that they like. I think there's a lot of that in Alcee, if you try to take something away or hurt something that he likes or cares about, then uh, then you're gonna you're gonna hear growling. Joe basically channels his his Yorkshire Terrier. I'm not sure we should have let out there. <laughs> He's a very cute Yorkie. Hey, I'm Joe Manganiello. I am Stephen Moyer, and you're watching TV Guide magazine.